Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a component in Sun Studio. So since I already mentioned, uh, it's a component based uh, website you can develop by using your uh, site studio. I already posted video how to install and how to configure it to connect your APIs. And now I'm going to create a simple component with the link field, okay? So for that, first go to site studio component, add component. So before that, when you list, when you click on the component, you will be able to see each components are uh, grouped with some categories, okay? So I'm going to create a new category for me. So when you have a website where you will be, where you want to create a different uh, style for different places, link, you can use this category as link. And under this link, you can give a, uh, different types of uh, link styles in, uh, under this. So now I'm going to create a component here. So the component is custom in link and the category is link here. After that, in a, uh, you will be able to see two sections under this. One is layout canvas and then uh, component form builder. So layout, layout canvas will help you to style your link how it should be displayed in the front. And form, form builder will help you to uh, give you a space to configure your field, how it should be appear in your editorial interface. Okay. So first, I'm going to add a field into the layout canvas. I am adding it under the element section. So the field is link. <clears throat> you can click plus or you can drag and drop here. Both will work. When you double click on it, in this, you will be able to see the settings of the link and also style. So style means where you can add your own styles for this particular link. Okay. I'm not going to do any styling now. I'm just going to create a component and assign it to the any of your component. Okay. So under settings, here you will have a link text to what should be the text of the link. And then attribute if title attribute for the link. Uh, and uh, what type of uh, URL it is. And the value for the URL and target whether it's a new window or same window. Okay, let it be there. We'll come down and create a field here. So for that, you have to select field here. In this, you have to select the input field. So I'm going to add two input. You have to add it in this uh, form builder section. So one is for link text and one is for URL. And this one is link text and you can give the place folder also like enter label and you can change this link text this is fine for me if you want you can change it here and then uh, if you want to give a default value you can give or validation whatever so just i'm going to save it now and the next one is path so this is link path path and place for the link enter path and then i'm just going to save it so now we created two fields we have to link these two fields with your uh, <coughs> layout canvas so that it will get a value from these two uh, field and it will be attached to your link so double click on it and here you will be able to see the toggle mode before that, let's configure the URL. I'm going to give some complete URL. So I'm selecting it. And then target, I'm giving new window. And then <clears throat> click on toggle mode. And here you will be able to you add your variables. So I have added a variable of link text here. And I didn't click on it. It will be applied. And then scroll down and apply it. In a URL, I have to copy the path. So copy the path and double click on it and then again click on toggle mode add your variable again click on it now the value for path and link text is added now apply it so once that is done when you scroll down to this component here you added two fields right one is for link text and one is for uh, link path so those two fields will appear like this on your editorial interface okay this is for 
form preview. Okay. In your layout con canvas, here we created a new. So here you have a preview icon. When you click on it, it will show you how the uh, value should be. Okay, how the link will be appear. Okay. So I'm just going to save it now. Once you created a component, next you have to attach this component inside your content type, right? So for that, click on structure, content type, article, manage fields. Here you have to add a field, which is under the category of site studio. So click on add field and then uh, select the type as canvas, layout canvas under the site studio, click on it. And this field is just a components field, okay, and save it. And then again, save it. And save it again. Now I saved it. Once you save, now go and add a content of article here. Give a label for the article. So I'm just going to create a only the uh, link. And then add here. So here you have to select your component. So this is the component which you already created. So this is the component which we created now under the link category. So click on this. So that will be automatically added. When you double click on it, it will be able to give a value for it. So I'm going to give a value of google.org path. So google.org, copy the URL and paste it here. And then apply. And then scroll down and save it. Once it's saved, you will be able to see uh, the Drupal link is coming here. So when you click on it, it will open in a new tab. Okay. So this is how you have to create a component in uh, Aqua Site Studio. Okay. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.